So sometimes I get questions in the comments of my videos and people are wondering how to save their final image after they've done the compositing. And I remember when I was first learning Blender, I had the same problem as well. So I would go over to the compositor and do some compositing, but then I didn't actually know how to save the image after the compositing was finished. So I really quickly just threw together this scene here and I'm gonna give it a render. So I'm just gonna press the F12 key or I can also just click on render and then click on render image. So when I hit F12 to render, it went right over here to the image editor and it rendered out the final image. So then if I wanted to save this image, I could just click on image and then I could click on save as, or I could also press shift alt S. Now I don't want to save this image because I first want to do some compositing. So what I'm going to do is click right up here to go to the compositing tab. So I can just click on use nodes and then I'm also just going to make sure the backdrop is turned on. And then I want to preview this. So I have the node wrangler add-on enabled so I can control shift and select the render layers that's going to add the viewer node and if you don't have the node wrangler enabled you can also just press shift a and go to the search and you can search for the viewer node and then you can plug it up to the render layers so then real quick I'll do some compositing I'm going to add like a denoise I'll drop the denoise there and then I also want to like do some color correction so I'm just going to add some RGB curves and then I'll also give it like a lens distortion to give it kind of a cool effect so there we go. So there is the finished composited image. So this is the image that I want to save. So it would make sense to just go back over here to the layout because this is where I saw the render result. So if I click right back over here to go to the layout tab, you can see here's the image, but this is not the composited image. This is just the final render. And I remember when I was first learning Blender, I had the same problem as well. And usually what I would do is I would just re-render the entire image, but that's a huge waste of time because we've already rendered the image, but you don't have to re-render the entire image. There is a way to save the final compositing. So the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that the viewer node and the composite node are plugged up to the compositing. If for some reason you don't have these nodes, you can press shift A in the compositor and then you can search for the composite and the viewer. So after you do that, you can press the F11 key and the F11 key is going to take you right back here to the render result. Or another way to do this is just by clicking right here and changing this to the image editor. Or another Another way to do this is just by clicking on render and then clicking on view render you can see it says f11 now again you can see that it's not showing me the final compositing and that is because right up here we are previewing the render result but instead of previewing the render result we want to preview the final compositing so to do this you can click on the drop down and then you can click on viewer node and this is going to show you the final compositing and if for some reason you don't see the viewer node here in the drop down go to the compositing tab, you need to make sure that the viewer and the composite is plugged up. So make sure that it is plugged up in the compositing. So then you can press F11, you can click on the drop down and then click on viewer node, and then you can click on image and click on save as, or you can also press the shortcut, which is shift alt S. And if for some reason you are doing this for an animation, then it will do it automatically. Just to show you real quick, I'm going to press F12 to render, and that is going to render the image. And then when it is finished you can see it just took a few seconds and now it's done the compositing so now you can see that the render result does have the finished compositing and that's because we already set up the compositing in the compositor and then we re-rendered the image so that's it for this video so i hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching